Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1-85 that is taken from chapter number 1, Stress, and book name is Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is the beam is made from southern pipe pine and is supported by base plates resisting on the brickwork. If the allowable bearing stress for the materials are for pine, it is 2.81 ksi and for brick allowable bearing stress is 6.70 ksi. Determine the required length of the base plates at A and B to the nearest 1 over 4 inch in order to support the load shown. The plates are 3 inch wide. So you can see this is the beam layer that is made up of uh, southern pipe and there is uniformly distributed load from one end till the whole over the whole length that is 200 pound per feet and there is a six skip load at a length of five feet from this point a and there is a base plate between this beam and this bricks layer so you have to find the length of this base plate so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this support at the break so it, there will be a reaction force let this reaction force is r a and if you remove this breaks so there will be a reaction force offered by this sub break on this beam or base plate which will be r b okay now this six skip is equal to six thousand pound six skip is six thousand pound and when there is a uniformly distributed load of 200 feet so when you convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load so it will act at the half length of the beam and this will be equal to 200 over the length which it acts so total length is 13 feet so 200 multiplied by 13 will give you 2600 pounds feet and it will act at the half so total is 13 so uh, it will be 6.5 from either sides so this is 6.5 feet now we'll apply equation of equilibrium in order to find this r a and r b so what will be the equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about this point a the first moment will be due to this six skips are 6000 pound load and perpendicular distance is 5 and this is producing clockwise movement so it will be negative so i will write minus 6000 into 5 the second moment is due to this load and this is 2600 and the perpendicular distance is 6.5 and this is producing clockwise so it will be also negative so i can write it minus 2600 multiply by 6.5 and the last uh, load which is producing movement about point a will be rb into perpendicular distance is 10 feet and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive I will write plus RB multiply by 10 and the sum of all moment about point A must be equal to 0. So from here we will get minus 30,000 minus this will be 16900 plus 10RB is equal to 0. So what we will get is that 10RB will be equal to 46,900 and this rb will be equal to if you divide 10 on both sides so you will get 4690 pounds so this is the value of rb reaction force by bricks at point b on the beam or base plate now you can find ra by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so R A is upward, so plus R A plus R B minus this 2600 and minus 6000, their sum must be equal to 0. So I can write R A plus R B minus 6000 and minus 2600 is equal to 0. So R A plus R B is 4690 minus 6000 minus 2600 is equal to 0 so when you calculate it you will get r a will be equal to 3910 pounds 
now you have both R A and R B. So what we are going to do is that we will design this base plate. So what will be the parameter? So I will write the design must be based on the strength and we will take the smaller strength which is the strength of the pipe. So you have been given the allowable wearing stress of pine as well as for brake. So we will choose this value. Clear? This will be and at point A at A. First we will calculate for A. So at A we know that bearing stress is equal to bearing load over per unit area. So at point A you can see this load is offered on this bearing plate. Clear? So we will write it as R A divided by area of this plate at A. And the bearing, uh, we have taken the strength of pine. So strength of pine is 2.81 KSI. So 2.81 into 10 to power 3 is equal to RA, which is 3910. And area of base plate, if base plate is like this, the width is given. This width is 3 inch clear. And this length is not given. This length, which is length A. So I can write the area will be equal to LA multiply by 3. Clear? So from here you will get LA will be equal to 3910 divided by 2810 multiply by 3. And when you calculate it, it, it will be equal to 0 0.464 inch. And if you can see that a... If length is one, we have been given that L should be one over nearest to one over four inch, which is equal to 0 0.5 inch. And if L is equal to half inch, it is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.25. Okay. As our value 0 0.4 is near to this 0 0.5. So L we select, we use length of this base plate will be 1 over 2 inch you can also write it 2 by 4 inch which is again 1 over 2 inch so length of this base plate is 1 over 2 inch now what we will do is that at point b at point b our base plate b we know that stress is equal to rb divided by area so from here the strength is 2.81 into 10 to the power 3 ksi rb is calculated as 4690 divided by area of base plate for b will be lb into 3 inch so again this length lb will be equal to 4960 divided by 2810 multiply by 3 and when you calculate it it will be equal to 0 0.556 since inch so lb is equal to 0 0.556 inch and we will take it uh, nearest to 1 over 4 inch so this is 1 over 4 this is 1 by 2 and 3 by 4 is 0 0.75 so it, our value is in between these two so we and for the closer our safer design will be 3 over 4 inch so we will choose LB is equal to 3 over 4 inch your four inch which is the answer of our this question so this length of this base plate should be half inch clear and this length of this base plate should be three or four inch and that was all about this problem 1-85 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section
Thank you for watching and supporting me.